Welcome to the Lockdown Lowdown. I'm Dev Sarni and joining me today is a man who could crush me in a fight. Well, it could be almost anyone. I'm delighted to confirm that on the line today is Olympic silver medalist Joe Joyce. Joe, how you doing? Very well, thank you. What you got there then? Uh, just a cup of coffee and uh, some uh, chocolate digestive biscuits. Ah, how many? That looked like more than one at a time. Yeah, two, two at a time. Two at a time? Oh, you have to do it. No way. Never done that. But surely you find that you get through the packets of biscuits quicker if you're doing that, which is dangerous. But it's a very wholesome bite. How many biscuits have you uh, got through today, Joe? Uh, well, that, I think that was my sixth one. See, I'm doubling up and I'm putting two together and then get a very wholesome bite. It's two at a time. Yeah. This, this, is, this is uncanny. Is that, maybe it's just something that all heavyweight boxers do. I think it's um, it's I think it's mandatory. Ah, to be honest. Okay, yeah. Joe, how are you spending your days? Um, well, I'm spending my days not really doing much and getting bored out of my mind. But um, you know, doing a bit of training, a bit of a, a run here and there, a cycle, uh, doing a workout out the front there or out the back of the um, of the of the block so it's like a a nice like uh, artificial grass mm-hmm. on top of the rooftop so we can uh like do a bit of training there would you say this is just ticking over you're not really you're not properly going for it are you no nah, no nah, just ticking over and uh, just enjoy enjoy myself um <clears throat> as much as i can do uh, in these times and what's the diet like then? You've just you've just confirmed you you've had your six biscuits a day. How's uh, how's that looking? Do you find yourself reaching for the cupboards more often? Yeah, out of boredom, really. Nah, I, you are not alone, my friend. You are not alone. Now this, um, they're protein biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> protein biscuits, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course they are. Of course they are. Two at a time, protein biscuits. Um, now tell me. When you found out that this fight with Daniel Dubois, this huge fight, was going to be postponed, and you'd, you know, you'd put your heart and soul into camp in Las Vegas, what, what were your feelings? I just couldn't believe it. Like I was, because we didn't really notice anything that was happening too much when we were there, because we were in the bubble, just um, getting on with the training camp, and I think we went for some food on the Saturday. And we went to a place where normally on a Saturday night the food would have been busy, like really busy, but it wasn't wasn't that many people there. And then that's where we kind of start to think something was going down. And uh, and we heard that the last flight would have been the Tuesday, so we managed to leave on the Sunday before um, before we would be able to come back to England. Um, and then obviously we arrived back, and um, I, I thought because. I thought it might be done behind closed closed doors or or something, mm-hmm. and it, the fight would still go ahead. But obviously, there'd be no audience there, and people would just have to tune in at home. But then, um, obviously, it has been postponed till July 11th. It gives me a bit of time before then, um, before I have to really like start picking it up properly. So I'm just like kind of ticking over for now. But I obviously uh, the training camp in Vegas was was amazing like I you know had did some training at the UFC facility had plenty of really great sparring reunited with Salas and um, Rodney as well was there and you know taking me on the pads and that and I felt like I was in a really good place and I was ready to ready to go. Um, You put a tweet out actually saying this this is you know ahead of I think it was like the end of February and you said something like this is going to be the best juggernaut ever is did you do you feel that that was definitely it? This was going to be the best Joe Joyce we, we'd ever see. Yeah, I thought so. I, I was, um, you know, I was really, really picking up in sparring, and I felt, you know, I ticked all the boxes, and I'd done everything right in camp. So I was ready to put on a dominant performance and, and get the win. Do you think you'll go back to Vegas if you know if things start move, moving forwards and you need to get yourself back into a proper camp? Will you go out there, pick up where you left off, or yeah, around? I'll probably probably go out there. Um, 
maybe I'll we'll see if we can get Salas over here. Maybe half and half, or we'll see how it see how it goes. So talking about your you've you've been sort of very bored at home. What are you actually doing to keep yourself busy apart from eating biscuits? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, um, as you may know, I'm a bit of a gamer, uh, right. so I've got um, so I've, I'm, I'm, I'm this is my games room. Where I've got my uh, my computer set up here, and uh, here's here's my mouse. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Mouse. Well, yeah, so I've been uh, so I've been playing I've been playing games on here and like chatting to my friends and stuff like that, watching films. I've got the PlayStation in there and I, I've, I've been playing another game, but uh, I don't know. After a while, it, it gets a bit boring. Like, is this like between training sessions, like when I'm trying to rest and stuff? But I'm usually doing something else with myself, like. Uh, Okay, obviously the little bit of training here and there helps as well, and it you know it's nice to get out in the fresh air and stuff like that. But it is um it's very very uh, weird times we're we're living in. <laughs> what well, it is it's very surreal. Tell me, what what games are you playing? Are you going around just like shooting people up? Are you is it FIFA? What what are you doing to get you away from this? Um, so I I normally play. Uh, Destiny 2 but I kind of get a bit bored of that now so I, I played this game called Path of Exiles which is like a it's like an RPG game and uh, and also I've been playing this Val- uh, Valorant which is this new shooting game uh, and uh, on the PlayStation I'm playing uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake Alright So these, these are games yeah. you, you really sort of uh, you know, do you, uh, you, you lose yourself in them? You cut off from the rest of the world, and you go on your little adventures. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, what what do you think Daniel Dubois is doing? I have no idea, but um, I hear he's got like a gym built for him or something somewhere. He's um, he's I think he's training at his house, and he's 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 got a new house, and he's got a nice gym there. I think it's that. But Ooh. like, yeah, well, well, day to day, what do you think he's up to then? I don't know. I didn't know what he, he what he got up to for entertainment on the squad, so I'm not going to know what he does now. I think he just eats whole chickens. Like he, you know, wakes up, eat, eats whole chicken, and goes back to sleep. This is the myth of Daniel Dubois, and now the myth of Joe Joyce is he wakes up, eats a pack of biscuits, has a little workout, plays some games, goes back to sleep. We yeah, go again. Job done. Yeah. Job done. <laughs> out in Vegas, you talk about having the best camp ever and it would have been the best Joe Joyce ever there was a picture that went out which sort of broke the internet in a, in a, in a boxing way it, it wasn't you know Kim Kardashian getting a bum out this was in a boxing way it was you and Francis and Garnu um, pictured together yeah. what can you uh-huh. tell me about that spa he and Garnu is strong he is a very strong guy like uh, mate I wouldn't like to be going at him in the UFC, mate. <laughs> but obviously, because um, it's a slightly different sport, the same same way like there was with uh, Mayweather and McGregor. Like Mayweather was comfortable coming forward, and like he, uh, you know, like there's a lot of science behind boxing and um, MMA. The levels of the stand up with the boxing technique is not on the levels that a professional boxer would be, especially um, Soren Caesar does me. So, yeah, I mean, it was a competitive spa and I'm glad I didn't get hit with any of those shots cleanly because those were whistling past me, whistling past my body, whistling past my, my head. If, I, if those shots would have landed, I would have been in trouble. <laughs> but, I mean... I could take a punch, but though he's a strong guy, mate. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you think? Do you think he could make it in boxing to any sort of level if he crossed over? Yeah, yeah. He would not. He'd be knocking guys out, mate. It'd be exciting to to see him. Did anyone film it? Is there any footage hidden somewhere? How can I see this? Uh, I don't know. Not how much you got? <laughs> so the footage does exist. Maybe, maybe not. Oh wow, that could be one for the uh, for the Joe Joyce memoirs when it's all said and done. Or <laughs> actually, you put a tweet out saying, "Yeah, I want to have it in a cage as well." Um, so is that is that was that genuine or was that all a bit tongue in cheek? Um, I'd never say never. I mean, I've done a lot of 
uh, striking, which is, you know, martial arts work growing up. So I can kick, I can punch. So, and I did a bit of rugby. I don't know if that's grappling, but it's similar. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd imagine it's all going to help. I mean, you're, you are a handful. Um, tell me, Joe, there is a school of thought, right, saying that this delay for the Daniel Dubois fight suits him more than it suits you because he's 22 years old and he's, he's a baby. And because you're 34 and maybe you haven't got as long left in the game as what he has. What do you say to that? Well, yeah, um, obviously I'm pushing 35, the man. But um, I don't know. Obviously I'm not getting any younger, but um, I don't know how it will benefit him because both of us are not training like properly. I guess obviously because he's younger, he's got it obviously um, it's ob- it's an obvious thing that it'll that it's better for him because he is on- he's only gonna still be younger than me, and I'm only gonna get older as the days go go on. But um, mm. apart from that, I think it, uh, for July 11th, bring it on. <laughs> All right, so look, we're, we're scheduled in for July the 11th. It's you and Daniel Dubois. What's your prediction for the fight? No, same as the prediction as last time. Joe Joyce by juggernaut battery in the later rounds. Any message to the fans? Anything you can say to encourage them to stay at home during this pandemic and not go out and spread coronavirus? Yeah, just uh, make sure you have a routine. And, uh, you know, what's really good is that to do some training at home and... Uh, Keep fit and healthy and keep your immune system up and try not to go out and mix with other people. Just, uh, you know, just stay home and, until this whole whole thing blows over. OK, Joe. Well, look, thanks for checking in and talking to the lockdown lowdown. And I'm sure I'll catch up with you soon, mate. All right. Nice All right. One.